What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another mixer here, guys. 10 boxer, 23-24 Series 2 hockey. Pick your team number 9, guys, which features 4 tins, 4 blasters, 4 hobby. So basically, guys, uh, this is our last mixer of hobby twin tins and blasters. We ran out of tins uh, and blasters, basically. Um, hobby will have leftover boxes from the case, about half a case left. So what we're going to do is for the next one we post up, it's not going to be called a 10-box mixer. We're just going to use hobby boxes from here on out. We're going to post them as a four-box hobby. So basically, the equivalent of four-box hobbies is what it is for four tins, four blasters, since they're significantly much cheaper. Um, so yeah, number 10 will be just hobby, but it'll stay the same thing. Two teams, gets a chance to win the Blackhawks. And uh, yeah, John, I mean, bought it all out. So I don't have to do a randomizer or anything. This is a basically a little personal 10-box mixer. So, good luck to John. Let's cheer him on. Let's, let's get him a couple Badars, not just one, but a couple. Here we go. So, we'll do it the same way as we always do. Start with the blasters and go with the hobby. Now, we haven't hit much Bedard out of the fresh cases that we've opened up, to be honest. So, I feel like we're definitely... Definitely do for some Bedards. And uh, probably take a little lunch break after this too, guys. It's usually around the time I take a lunch break, around 7-ish. Don't know if I'm going to get lunch again, but just take a little break. See what the wife wants to get, if she wants to get some food. Here we go, four blasters. Ty Carta. McGing. All right, that's a bit dark glossy. It's a good little start for a blaster. Angle. 
Matt Murray. Tyler Sagan. Sweeney. Nicholas, Monty Paul, Petrangelo Canvas, and maybe should be able to get one young gun, maybe still. Yeah, Dewar. Bedard and the Glossy was the only thing you got Bedard wise for uh, the Blasters. Now we go to the Tins, which you get three to four Young Guns per tin, plus a Dazzler pack. Everybody.
All right, here we go. Tins, Emerson. Giroux. Sweezy. Andre Rosalewski canvas. Walker. Philip Deneau, outburst. Next last, uh, next ten. Angle. Boom. Korshinsky teaser. That dude. Justin Falk outburst. The boy. Nicholas Matipalo. Dimitri Bronco Tompkins Tate Thompson Canvas Piotras. You only get one, maybe two per case, Young Guns. And there's some cases that have zero wrecks. So even though we'll see a lot of them pop up, there's they're really not that... They're really actually pretty hard. They're basically short printed. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. There's only like once in the generational kind of players. McDavid's one of them, and this Bedard is supposed to be the other, right? Happens like once every 10 years, really, where you get like kind of one of those once in a generation players. We got lucky to get two years in a row where we got McDavid and Matthews. But, um, but yeah, um, a lot of hockey players are great players, but it's also you have to remember, too, that these guys are Canadians. These guys killed it in Canada. Uh, and also, too, you know, for McDavid, he plays in a big Canadian market, and then Bedard's playing for probably one of the best United States markets with the Chicago Blackhawks when it comes to hockey. So that's also the hype around it, too, is that they're playing for great teams in hockey, and like I said, they're also Canadian. It's like if they're Canadian and they're superstars, they're always going to get the hype. Hockey is very biased. <laughs> So not, there's not always a Canadian number one overall pick, you know what I mean? Beecher. I think that's what it is, too. Nice. 
Matt Murray. That is McDavid. Logan Cooley. I get something, man. Let's go. Mark. Simone Gagne. All right, it's going to be up to the Dazzlers and Hobbies. Chase Thompson, Sergachev, no Cates. Braden Point, Gustafson, Save the Kid. Keller, Robertson, Sveshnikov. I would say he was born in California, raised in Arizona. He moved uh, to Arizona as a, probably like two or three years old, so. Probably McDavid only, and I don't even think, I honestly am going to call it they both are never going to win, but <laughs> I don't know. I can't really see Toronto ever getting past the first round. I think Oilers probably have a better chance if I had to choose one or the other. But uh, I think if you go down that both of those guys don't ever win. Unless they switch teams, get traded, or go to a new team. It'd be sad to hear that though, but it could happen. But I think in this day and age with hockey, I don't think you need to win a ton of them to be considered one of the greatest players of all time. I think you just kind of have to win one and then let the stats do the rest of the talking. You know, like Ovechkin has one. I mean, he'd be a Hall of Famer, one of the greats ever, but. You can always say he has that one Stanley Cup he won, you know? You know, Sidney Crosby has a couple. I feel like the only thing that is very competitive when it comes to the Hall of Fame and being GOATs is basketball and football, I feel like, are considered where you need to win championships to be considered the greatest. Especially basketball. I don't feel like hockey, you need to win multiple championships to be considered the greatest ever. And I don't think that matters in baseball either. You would like them to win one. But I don't think it matters. All right, here we go, man. Zary. I, I mean, I don't think so, Rex. I don't. I mean, at least for baseball, it doesn't seem like it is. Uh, heroes.
I think for individual players, it doesn't matter. Maybe for teams, yeah. How many rings you got? Yeah, then you can say it like that. But I feel like that 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 is a that is a thing that is very big on football, though. How many Super Bowls your team has? That's right. You know, <laughs> like that's a big thing. You know, basketball too. I feel like championships is is big. But I really don't think it matters that much in baseball or hockey. Would you like to have one under your belt? For sure. But I don't think it fully makes a big difference. Matt Murray. Yeah, because baseball is more of a... Per, uh, is more of a... For at least the Hall of Fame, at least. Is more of a... Uh, It's more of a personal stat. Well, I mean, Hall of Fame is always meant to be uh, personal achievements, you know. But think of it as a perfect example. Like, let's just say Eli Manning. If you go look at his stats career-wise, he's definitely an average quarterback, right? But because he beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl and he has two Super Bowls, he probably has a chance to make the Hall, which is crazy to say. Wow. Back-to-back ones there. But because he has two Super Bowls, he's going to get a chance. You know? The Ferrier. Tiba Turbine. Sweeney. Tyson Berry. Kuznetsov Dazzler. Actel. Alright, we need a holy miracle here. Hey, <sighs> Uno Mas. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I have no idea how they judge that, but it seems like to me if you're going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it probably matters about how many albums and number one hits you've gotten. It's all going to be that. It doesn't matter. If I'm a, if I'm a band, I don't give a shit about getting to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, do you? I mean, is that really a big thing? <laughs> I think numbers will tell you how good you are. I personally wouldn't care. <laughs> Kyle Paul married at two fifty. The deluxe. Ilya. Oh, so you're upset because it's only supposed to be rock and roll. Well, do they not have a Hall of Fame for general music? I mean, I guess you could only, in, I guess you could only induct so many rock and roll bands. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Jake Ottinger. Maybe the Hall of Fame. Oh, we got one. Thank God. At least one. Um, maybe the committee hates the Smashing Pumpkins. 
All right, John. Well, I'm sure you wanted a lot more, but at least your chase, you got one, is over for that. Ferraro. So that's our first young gun in the hobby boxes. So could still be one more hiding in the remaining, or if not, maybe something else. Taves Thompson. Billy Corgan is a QA non dork. Is that uh is that is that someone from the Smash Pumpkins? Alright, what do you respond to that, Rex? <laughs> Alright. There you go, man. Got one to dard. Obviously you got everything else too, but I know that's what we really wanted. There you go, man. So again, I'll post some more, guys. It'll just be hobby boxes from now on until we run out. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you.